Hey guys. All right, guys. We're here today to check out the latest video from Destruction. Uh, I was going to say Born to Perish, but that, that's not the video. I mean, that's the album. Yeah. That's not the video. The video is Betrayal. The album is Born to Perish. By the way, the album comes out August 9th on Nuclear Blast. I've done an album review that I've recorded. I haven't posted yet, but in the next couple of days, I'll be posting the album review. So this band, in case you don't know, they're a thrash metal band from Germany. Yeah. Das Auto. Das Auto. Das Auto. And Schnell, Schnell. they have a, the you, you can say that as well. They they have a few lineup changes. They have a, a new guitar player. They they also have a new drummer, and the drummer is Canadian actually. So there's a little bit of a Canuck connection uh, yeah, on, on this. Canuck connection. Yeah, it's the That's CC. The of, that is the name of a Canadian tech team to, uh, team in WWE. Yeah. Connect connection. Yeah. Well, try to say that a hundred times. Connect connection. Connect connection. <laughs> Connect connection. All right. So anyway, so they have a few lineup changes on this new record of theirs, "Born to Perish." These guys have been around for a long time. Like these guys have been around longer than you've been alive, which is not a hard it's thing not to hard. do. It's not a hard thing. Most to... bands. Have been <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> most bands have been around more than you've been alive, so that's not a hard thing to do. But they've been around for a very, very long time. These guys are veterans, and this year there's been a, a slew of great quality thrash metal albums coming out. Overkill put out a new album. Death Angel put out a new album. Suicidal Angels put out a new album. These guys are releasing an album August 9th. And I don't want to say too much about it because I want you guys to check out the album review. But if you're a fan of thrash metal, this album is not going to disappoint. I actually feel like this album has a lot more to offer because of those uh, lineup changes that they did. Having an extra gu guitar player on the band allows their sound to be a little bit more robust. You know what I mean? Because they're thick. Perfect. Because only having one guitarist is perfect. Because if you have one, when you're doing the solo, there's nothing. Uh, especially the, the bass, live. Yeah, the bass and the drums have to kind of keep that momentum. If you have another 100%, 100%. guitar player, when you have another a, exactly, it's, it's more so live because in the studio, obviously, yeah. you can record the different tracks and then mix them all together. But live, you can't. Uh, you, can, you can't really do uh, unless you play back tracks during or that time or pedal or something like that. But to me, I just feel the addition of an extra guitar player really gives the band a, a thicker sound. All right, so destruction, betrayal. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
talk about a song that's like high octane from the moment it starts all the way until it finishes. Um, obviously, I did an album review. I knew the track, um, but I had never seen the video. Uh, but what did you? So because of that, I'm gonna let you go first because I already knew the track. So I want to get your feedback on what do you think of this song, "Betrayal" from Destruction. I gotta say. This really, to me, I, I see where this goes. Obviously, I didn't grow up in your era, so I don't. I didn't grow. Well, up, obviously, we uh, yeah. uh, with that, with that, uh, with the thrash metal in your era, right? But um, over the past two years, we've been doing uh, our YouTube channel, and we're doing the thrash metal bands on Throwback Thursday. I feel like this kind of fits in with the Throwback Thursday kind of thrash metal bands. Very interesting. Okay, because. It doesn't remind me of any thrash metal band now that we've done on the channel. It reminds me of more of the older stuff. Very interesting point. So basically what you're saying is this doesn't, to you, doesn't remind you of like municipal waste no, or anything no, no. like... It reminds me of... Or, or like, uh, I'm trying to think of another band that has a modern sound to it. Even like Lost Society Havoc. or Havoc. Uh, I was trying to think of another one. Uh, Power Trip. So this doesn't remind you necessarily of that kind of thrash metal, but no. it reminds you of like... Overkill, like Nuclear Salt, like Old go. School Creator, um, Exodus, that kind of stuff. I mean, these guys are, are from that same era, right? Yeah. So they're from that same... So they're carrying on that uh, that sound. They're not really changing. Exactly. But uh, one thing I'll say is this. Because I obviously I heard the album, right? Like the album review I'm going to be posting in the next couple of days. One of the things that I took from this album is they were able to create an album that has an old school feel. No. But that doesn't sound dated. Yeah. Like it, it has that old school sound, but it still sounds modern. It, it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like I pick up this record and this record is from 1989. No, it, you know what I'm saying it has the, that the sound itself. The does. sound itself has that that those roots in, in in that era of thrash metal, but it still sounds fresh. Yeah, it, it, it it's not like I'm playing Years of Decay from Overkill, and you could totally tell that this album is not from today. Like this album was recorded like no, you know. The style of twenty plus the years. The style ago. of music is the same from that, but even how the song is structured. Yes, is, but the way it's like obviously the way it's produced and, and and the way it comes across, it still feels fresh. Yeah, that that's the feel that I got from the whole album. So the whole album to me felt like a late eighties, early nineties thrash metal album, but it didn't sounded like it was recorded in that era. It no. sounded like it was recorded now. It just had that throwback feel to it, which is. Perfectly fine by me. I, I love that. That's I mean, that's how that's that that's a thrash metal that I grew up listening to, like bands like Creator, right? So, so I like that that they were able to capture the essence uh, of the band. So they stay true to the roots it's of the band, they, they, but they just give it a little bit of an extra spin in a little bit. Of, it's good throughout all these years. They really didn't change the kind of stay kept, true to their sound. Yeah, not, not many bands. Uh, when you think about it, like bands from that era tend to do that more. But now bands these days, like they'll release an album and then three years later, the album that they release, the, the sound sometimes is completely different from the first album. Uh -huh. Bands are constantly changing and looking for perhaps the new niche. Let, let me put it that way. Like, you know, some bands start off as melodic death metal bands, then they move into metalcore because that's the in thing now. And then, and then or before that, new metal and then groove yeah. metal and now metalcore. Like, so I, I, I appreciate bands that stay true to their sound and to their roots and they just keep pushing forward. This song is a banger anyways. Yeah. I mean, from, from the beginning all the way to the end, there was not one moment where you could say, okay, let, let me pause here. Let me go grab a coffee. No, like the whole song is absolutely high octane from the beginning. If you have beginning. coffee, just go everywhere. Just go everywhere. Oh, speaking of everywhere, what did you think of, of the dynamic of the two guitar players in terms of the solo and how the riffs came together? Did you enjoy the fact that... I really like the dynamic between the two. They really seem like they've been playing... Uh, I got the, that impression from the record, but listening to this song, you get the impression that they've been playing together for a very long time. And that's not the case, but it feels like they've been playing, playing together for a very long I time. I feel like that's what made the song better. If, if it was only one guitar player, I, if, it would sound the same, obviously, if it was only one guitar player, because they would try making it the same. It feels a little bit thicker, doesn't it? It does feel thicker. And I feel like in a live setting, it's going to be even, even better. better. Yeah. Even better. I agree with you. On a live setting, it's going to be even better. I, I, this album, it, like I, I said at the, at the beginning of the video, so many good old school thrash metal bands have released albums this year, and this is going to be another one of those great thrash metal albums coming out this year from another veteran band that's putting out another uh, a, a new record. 
I, 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 and once again, I have to go back to this. I like the fact that they stay true to their original sound. Just give it a few little adding tweaks. Someone, uh, whoever, who would know that adding someone would make the sound a lot. Yeah, but when you're adding a second good... Uh, for a band that, that has a sound like this, for a thrash metal band, right, that has this specific old school sound to them, uh, you you can pull it off with one guitar player. I'm not saying I'm not saying you can't. But, but it, it sounds a lot better with the. With to the me, it, and to me, it not only sounds a lot better on record when you watch it live. live yeah. That's going to be when you're really going to notice the difference. I I just feels that makes the sound a lot more robust. It it makes the sound feel thicker. Makes it feel harder, heavier. Uh, without having to go heavier, yeah. you, it makes automatically the sound sound a lot heavier. I like it, uh, and I like the dynamic that they. That they have together, they and this song, the, the way they, they they morph in from the riffs to the solos and back again, it has a nice fluidity to it. It's like nobody's stepping on anybody's toes. Everybody knows their place. It has a nice fluidity. The album is really well put together. It's really well crafted. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, another great thrash. Metal. If you guys are watching big thrash metal fans, I highly recommend you guys check out their new album because you're not gonna be disappointed in the slightest. You will be disappointed if you don't check it, and then yeah. you find out later on how good it was, and you didn't you didn't check it out. I I, I rec they have another single out called "Born to Perish." So if you're not a hundred percent sold on this, check that one. That one is really good. That's the opening track on the album, and that's obviously the name of the album. Yeah. But that song, uh, to me, kind of gives the the encompasses the whole record. So uh, the record. The whole record is like this, high octane from the beginning all the way through. There's no really dead spots. It's just a really lively album, uh, for lack of a better word. All right, guys, this is it for today, but come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.